Well, first of all, I need to set the stage of where we were in 1969 and 70 as far as emergency medical services. We weren't anywhere. Ambulances were little old things, not much bigger than a SUV. Uh, have a driver and an attendant. Neither one of them knew anything about taking care of sick folks. Out in the countryside, it was a whole different world. We've learned that the first hour is the golden hour in uh, emergency medicine. It is really important to get somebody to the patient on the ground that understands about what we call the AVCs. That's airway, bleeding, and cardiac. There were no house numbers and no names on the roads. How do you find somebody? And that was a big deal. They studied those maps and we had to train the pilots to reactivate in this. And then we had to train personnel to ride the helicopter, EMT, when we set up the course. And then we had to train the people in the emergency rooms of these little hospitals how to do stuff to save these people. And a big thing that we had to do was write a law that reconfigured ambulances and made them big enough so you could work. The CMED came about because of all that. And we had a lot of pilots coming in from, from uh, Vietnam. And they could land that thing in a, something not much bigger in this room <laughs> at night. <laughs> it was pretty really something. So we, we persisted and we have all these years. That was in the set. We got started in 71 to see it doing so well and think of what it's accomplishing. We saved a lot of lives. And every time I see the helicopter, I think about it. Do y'all know that RC is on that? That's me. On the name, on the numbers. That's they did that. So that's the answer. <laughs>